Today's reading is Nyoreon, a monster encyclopedia book entry. A race of yonkai that inhabit the Zimbangu region, often deliberately evasive during conversations just to tease people. They have unconventional personalities that are slippery and hard to grasp, yet are said to set foot inside people's houses unnoticed and begin to make themselves at home, as if it was, in fact, their own house. Sipping tea and smoking a kesuro, basically the Japanese version of a pipe. At a glance, this race is nearly human in appearance, could almost be mistaken for one. But they are amongst the most distinguished of the great yonkai of Zimbangu, and are said to drape their bodies in darkness of the night and command 100 demons. Whatever that means. Night is the time of the yonkai, and just being there, the Nyoren, who drape themselves in darkness of the night, invigorate the yonkai, creating a passionate nighttime atmosphere for married couples. Specifically married couples, which I guess could make them a rather romantic creature. After entering the home of a man she's taken a liking to, she'll treat the homeowner in a relaxed, friendly manner, and even dine with him, but it is said that the occupants of the house will be unable to sense that anything is amiss, as if they were seized by a delusion that the Nuron herself is the mistress of the house, and as if it was only natural, she'll also enter the man's bed, but even so, the man won't be able to feel that anything is odd about her being there sleeping with him in his futon. On the contrary, he'll feel that it is a natural thing to be embraced by her since she is the mistress, and he'll even feel delighted to have been chosen as her partner. As rulers of the night, they are also temptresses who possess superior seduction techniques, and just by stroking with their slender fingertips, they can provide a man with comfortable pleasure, and in fact, it is said that they can even cause a man to ejaculate at will with only a single fingertip. If one was to spend a night with a neuron, the pleasure would be so overwhelming that even reality would then feel hollow and ruminating on the deed would only cause a man to miss them more. A man would just feel inexorably compelled to wait for them to visit again for Yobai the following night. Whatever Yobai means, I do not know because I am an Englishman. Even after that, the neuron would continue to stay in the man's house, but since they joke around all the time, it's impossible to grasp their true feelings. So, sometimes, men may feel feelings of loneliness and anxiety when unable to tell for certain whether a neural home likes them. However, the words of love that they whisper at night in bed don't give off the usual joking vibe at all, and they definitely convey their true feelings. For that reason, men will start to long for the arrival of night from the bottom of their very heart. As rulers of the night, they possess an angromatic charm that is both fascinating and majestic. Their appearance inspires yearning not only in yonkai, but in humans as well. In the case of a man, he experiences a powerful attraction to yonkai and desire to become a yonkai's partner. In the case of a woman, she'll end up desiring to become a yonkai herself, just like them. Grammatically, you don't need the last three words of the previous sentence. It is also said that men who become their husbands have a charm that is so attractive to yonkai that they were chosen as their partners by copulating with them every night and coming to desire perpetual night. That charm will eventually be made to bloom, and a man will become a worthy ruler of the night who can stand alongside the neuron as her equal. He will become someone who can dominate many yonkai with his body, a being worthy of serving. Many yonkai will be attracted to the previously mentioned man, and desire to spend the night with him as his concubines. Due to the neuron being draped in the darkness of the night, the man's surroundings will be altered into a state of perpetual night, with the yonkai always seeking compulation. As their master, he will end up spending the never-ending night compulating with yonkai one after another. It will reach the point that any, at any given time, the man will always have a crowd of yonkai who will yearn for him, surrounding him, as if a man were to take a walk outside, the yonkai following him would form a huge swarm, creating a spectacle known as a night parade of 100 demons. Oh, so that's what it means by commanding 100 demons. <laughs>